Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Happy Friday. There's so much going on these days. Things are so crazy that even some of us who are paid to follow the news for a living forget to stop every once in a while and ask the most obvious questions. And there are a lot of them. For example, how did the party that hates old, straight white men choose as its frontrunner one of the oldest, straightest, whitest men in American politics? It's kind of remarkable. It's baffling, actually. Joe Biden, who is that man, must be thinking the same thing. Holy smokes, how did this happen? And what can I do not to screw it up? He's a lucky man and he knows it. Watching Biden, you get the feeling he doesn't really know what's going on. He doesn't know the answer to those questions. Biden is spry and energetic, but he really is from another generation. He was born a year and a half before D-Day. If elected, he would be older on Inauguration Day than our next oldest president, Ronald Reagan, was when he left office after two terms. Or put another way, Biden is old enough to be AOC's great-grandfather. So when progressive radicals under 30 throw out some new ideological litmus test, Joe Biden doesn't argue with them. He just agrees. The latest test is about abortion. Since 1976, a law called the Hyde Amendment has prohibited the federal government from paying for abortions. And for more than 40 years, the law has enjoyed strong popular support, overwhelming majority support, including from Joe Biden. Even people who call themselves pro-choice understand that it's wrong to use taxpayer dollars to fund something as divisive as abortion. And yet a small group of progressive activists disagree. They know the core political truth, which is that repealing the Hyde Amendment would amount to a massive windfall of taxpayer money for Planned Parenthood. And Planned Parenthood funds Democratic campaigns. So in the last year, they successfully bullied virtually every leading Democrat in America into parroting their line. Watch. I will repeal the Hyde Amendment. It's the amendment in law that makes it impossible for low-income women to access the care they need. The Hyde Amendment is a direct assault at the black and brown communities like the ones I've been representing. If you visit our website, uh, you'll see our commitment to repealing the Hyde Amendment. As president, I will make sure that we repeal the Hyde Amendment. I don't support the Hyde Amendment, and I will lead the fight to have it overturned. Uh-huh. So, pause for a second throw out the rhetoric and try to think through the reasoning. Cory Booker's reasoning, for example, if you can call it reasoning, he's saying that not using tax dollars to prevent black and Hispanic children from being born is, quote, an assault on black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Huh. So for the record, and this is true, Cory Booker has exactly the same position on abortion as the Ku Klux Klan does. Joe Biden, by contrast, had a different view until last night. At a speech in Atlanta, Biden announced that he's now in favor of taxpayer-funded abortion. Watch. For many years as U.S. Senator, I have, uh, I have supported the Hyde Amendment like many, many others have. But circumstances have changed, and I've been struggling with the problems that Hyde now presents. I can't justify leaving millions of women without access to the care they need. If I believe health care is a right as I do, I can no longer support an amendment that makes that right dependent on someone's zip code. Well, that was a hostage tape. The circumstances have changed, says Joe Biden. Which circumstances? Well, let's be specific. According to a report today in The Atlantic, Biden changed his mind after his campaign took a call from Alyssa Milano, the left-wing actress and professional unhappy person. If a Melissa Milano wants taxpayer-funded abortion, Joe Biden will deliver it, whatever it takes. It does make you wonder, though, what wouldn't Biden do? What are his limits? Is there any proposal Joe Biden wouldn't get behind as long as it sounded new and hip and progressive? If, for example, the woke community demanded a ban on heterosexual marriage, would Joe Biden support that? How about transgender animal rights. Is he for those, whatever they are? Where is Joe Biden on a testosterone tax to fight global warming? That sounds progressive, very progressive. How about federally funded tampon dispensers in men's rooms? It would be transphobic to object. Now, for the record, we made up most of those issues. They're not real, but they sound real. It's 2019. Soon they may be real. So we called over to the Biden campaign today to see where the candidate stands on all of those things. They haven't responded yet. But if tomorrow morning you wake up and read that Joe Biden has endorsed transgender animal rights, you'll know he really does want to be president. Either that or uh, Alyssa Milano's for him, too.